We're on our coffee run. This is like my, I have like two morning routines. I have morning routine A or morning routine B. Morning routine B is when I stay at your house. And then we get coffee and then we walk. Anna's walk, Anna and Pluto's walk with them, with Augie. And then I leave and I go work out. Look at Augie on the wall. <laughs> it's such a scary picture. Oh my God, where is he? We love Uzi. Sweetie. Sweetie. <laughs> Anna just put the, the cringiest um, boomerang of us being funny. I'm gonna post it on my Snapchat story too. <laughs> um, anyways, like I said, we just got coffee, cold brew with oat milk, and then every morning we like to play the New York Times games together. So we play Connections and we play Wordle. I'm way better at Connections. You're way better what at song should I put over it? <laughs> Where are you, Christmas? <laughs> I can't believe you posted it like that. Like, on Snapchat it makes sense, but I can't believe you posted it on Instagram. I'm like, <laughs> everything has to be aesthetic on Instagram. Because I'm a walking meme. Yeah, you're pretty meme. Okay. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Anywho, oh my, we're going to go play oh our New York Times oh my, oh my. You guys want to go for a walk? Why am I? You want to go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? <laughs> you wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? <laughs> Favorite breakfast ever. You guys know. Butter, fig jam, and eggs. Like, yum. I just got ready for the day and I'm changing my Omnipod. So I figured, why not talk while I do it? So I just got dressed, as you guys can tell, after my workout. And now, I'm gonna make some lunch, probably honestly the same salad <laughs> as yesterday. Because why not? Then I will make my curry coffee and then I'll head out and go thrifting, super excited. It's also like hot out. It's been like 80 degrees the past two days. And I'm just not accepting that. Like I'm fully still dressing like it's cold <laughs> because I don't know, like, you can't just throw in a hot day in the middle of the winter and be like, put some shorts on. Like, my legs are not prepared. <laughs> Even though I, went, I literally was in Aruba like a month ago, but I've already lost that tan. Oh, also guys, the plan is, we'll see if I chicken out, <laughs> but the plan is I'm gonna have a Sunday. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna have a Sunday. Actually, that sounds great, but on Sunday, I'm gonna have a pump break day, meaning I'm not gonna wear my pump for the day, I'm gonna do shots. And I'm nervous, but excited. I mean, like, it's gonna be fine. It's just gonna be different, but I'm very curious to see how it goes. Why are there so many air bubbles? I must be getting to the bottom of this. Um, bottle of insulin, which reminds me to pick up my insulin. Hello? Like, why is there a massive air bubble? Whatever. Fun fact about insulin is like, so like, you know how air bubbles with like intravenous things like could kill you, right? I think that's how it works. Well, that's not how it is with insulin. Like if there's air bubbles, it's not bad in that way. It's just bad because you won't be getting as much insulin as you think you're getting, if that makes sense. But it's not like you need the air bubbles out or else death. Also, I can't decide, so I'm just wearing like a very simple outfit. Like I have just this like Lonely Ghost thermal long sleeve, my Free People wide leg jeans that I keep wearing, and then some Adidas sneakers. I can't decide if I want to wear my blue light glasses to like spice up the fit. They look, they make the outfit look cute. Or if I just want to do these big sunglasses. Or if I just want to do my normal sunglasses. Why are these sticky? Okay. <laughs> I am so excited to see how I, like how I feel on shots um, now because I haven't done shots since I was first diagnosed and I, let's see, I went on the pump in July and I was diagnosed in April. 
so um I wasn't doing them for very long and like at the time like oh sh did I put it on my tattoo? I hate when I do that. Okay, no, I did. At the time, like I had no idea what I was doing, so I'm curious and like at the time it was really hard with shots, but I wonder how I'll feel now. Because I like wouldn't I'm not like totally opposed to doing shots. Cause I I won't lie. Ow. Oh my god, it's singing so bad. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Don't really hurt that bad. I don't know, just like my Omnipod, my Dexcom doesn't bother me, like at all. It's my Omnipod that does because it feels like just bulky a lot. I don't know. Just imagine having an AirPod case to you at all times or case attached to you at all times. And like, granted, it is like the best pump in my opinion. Like, I don't think I would ever switch to a different pump because I can't imagine having cords. Like the fact that I can like do everything with this one, like no cords, nothing, like it's the winner for me. But at the same time, sometimes I'm like, I just don't, <laughs> just don't want this attached to me. It just feels so bulky. I just really hope one day soon it'll be smaller because Dexcoms are getting so, so small. Like the newest one, if you guys have like <laughs> followed along with diabetes tech, like it's literally like this big. And I am not switching to that one yet because it's not integrated with my Omnipod. Meaning like, because right now my Dexcom and my Omnipod work together to make like a loop system. So basically it mimics a pancreas, even though I still have to do a lot of work, it like really helps. But if I switched to uh, what do you call it? If I switched to the G the new Dexcom, the G7, it wouldn't um, be like that anymore. But it's like it's on its way there. And T Slim, another insulin pump, just approved it. So usually um, Omnipods close behind T Slim, like tandem. So we'll see how it works out. Okay, I need to do my dishes from this morning still. I need to make lunch. The day's like passing me by. It's literally only twelve thirty, but so much later. I made the same salad. Um, the chicken is still cooking, but it's all the same. I'm gonna use leftover dressing as well, but the suspense is killing me. I want to know what the coffee is today, mainly because I'm like, okay, am I making it here to, and taking it to go, or am I getting a coffee out because this one's not gonna be good? So, day number seven. Can't believe it's been a whole week. So McCafe Colombian. Just a good old cup of coffee. I'm gonna make this one. Yes, I am, because I told you guys a few days ago, McDonald's coffee, highly underrated. It is so good. I'm also so excited to eat. Let's see what my dressing looks like on day two. Yummy. Whenever I say yummy, I think about that lady on TikTok. What's her name? She's like really popular. She's like a mom. Wait, Emily Kaiser. And she's like, yummy. You guys know what I mean? <laughs> she always does that. And so when I say yummy, that's what I think about. Yummy. Ooh, they're almost done. Nothing better than a chicken nugget. I will tell you guys that much. Also, I still haven't decided. I have to take pictures while I'm out though for a brand and so I think I might bring these with me and at least wear them for pictures maybe like I feel like this would be a cute photo took my shoes off because I personally am not a shoes in the house gal sometimes I do it and then I'm I get like really grossed out I'm like wait let me let me not let's pour the dressing on Also, I still can't get over like how few people are doing Vlogmas. Like, I feel like, like barely anyone's doing it. This is what Christmas is all about. <laughs> it's literally my favorite part of Christmas. It's a lot of work, yeah, of course, but I don't know, I just love it so much. And I'm gonna top this today with some crushed Red peppers, yum. So simple, so easy, so satisfying. Just cannot get 
better than this lunch. Boom. I just got such an exciting package that I was so eager to receive. So I followed this girl on TikTok, her name's Elise, and she owns this cookie dough company with her sister, I believe. And she always posts her cookies. And I'm, like, I've been following her for so long, and yesterday, or two days ago, I was like, I can't, I have to pur purchase these. Like, I gotta try these cookies, they look so good. So, after following her for months, I finally bought some. And I just got the package. They came so quick. Oh my god. Ah, I just touched dry ice with my fingers. Salted chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> I'm so excited. Whoa. Okie dokie, it's time to make this. Go coffee, which I wish I could put in this because it's bigger. Oh wait, I guess I could. And then just not put a lid on it. I wonder. No, that's not an idea. We'll just do this one then. Oh my god, everything's wrong right now. This smells great. A little bit of half and half. I'm actually a lot of bit of half and half. But oops. It'll be fine. Now it's just like a good cup of coffee. It's always so hot. Wow. Yum. It always surprises me how strong McDonald's coffee is. Okay, I wonder if this is alright. Coffee to go. Before I leave the house, I always have to do two things. Number one, I always have to put on some of this Laneige lip mask because when I'm out and about, I only have lip balm. So I put some of that on, and then I always have to put some hand lotion on. Always. I can't do dry hands. We have a visitor. Who is it, sir? Who is it? Housekeeping. Hello. Hello. Just made it to Goodwill. Excited to see what we find. Also, I did in fact bring my McDonald's coffee to go and it's so good. We also just passed Chipotle, Chick-fil-A, and in and out and every single one we passed we were like, oh, oh, oh that looks I'm so good. Girl. Kind of trying to finish it before I go inside. It does get dark really early here. It gets it doesn't get dark this early in Florida, I feel like. Yeah. It does in Michigan, though. Oh, it does in New Hampshire, too. My mom said it snowed for the first time this morning. Mm. Pre Goodwill lip gloss. Okay. Coffee finished. This is my pile right here. I found a Beyond Yoga sweatshirt with tag still on it. So, obviously, I'm getting that. Yeah, that's okay. I found this Adidas zip up, this blue sweater, what else? Oh, and a little red striped shirt so far. Got back from thrifting a bit ago and I had to take some pictures, like I said, I think earlier for a brand. Um, maybe I didn't say that, but I had to take pictures for a brand, so I did that. And then I just unboxed Augie's stocking that came in the mail. How cute is this? I just ordered it off of Amazon and I'm gonna put it right here in the middle that is just so adorable but it's around like 4 30 now maybe a little bit before yeah it's like 4 15 and i honestly think i wasn't gonna shower like after thrifting i was i just changed my clothes and everything but honestly i need a shower <laughs> i feel so gross so i'm gonna do that really quick and then we'll make some dinner i'm also like so dehydrated Thrifting takes so much out of you, I swear. You guys, it's not even showing up on camera well, but this sunset is 
beautiful. I get the prettiest sunsets out my window. But these are my PJ shorts. I always wear like, I don't really like to wear pants to bed very much, but I always like to wear sweatpants like before bed, but I usually will change into some shorts before bed. Also, I have not read in, well, seven days since Vlogmas started. And I miss it already, but I just got the coziest possible thing I could wear. I couldn't even wear the clothes that I put on after thrifting before I showered. Like I needed, I needed a clean slate. I couldn't do it. So we're so cozy. I'm wearing some gals on the go merch t-shirt and then these sweatpants are hollow. There's my normal slippers. Also, I didn't like say it. Oh my God. I look scary, but I didn't like say it. Um, but if you've noticed, I haven't been linking things and I think I'm just not gonna during Vlogmas because it just adds way more time and when I'm like trying to get things up. Cause not only do I try, or not only am I doing it every day, I try to get it up by 9.30 a.m. my time, which is like 12.30 Eastern time, but it's still 9.30 my time and so because of that, I just like, it just is too much to try to link things. So I've been trying to not like talk about things as much so that you guys aren't like asking, but I still want to tell you. So I guess I'll just like tell you where things are from and then you guys can figure it out from there. I just can't be linking things. It just takes too much time when I'm trying to get things up so quickly, but I'm so cozy and it's almost my favorite time of day, dinner time. <laughs> Actually, it's not my favorite time of day, but I do love dinner time. I want to light my Christmas candles because I have like more to go through and I literally leave like in 10 days. Or no, oh my God, less than that. Wait, yeah, less than 10 days, but I have like a week. So I need to get light in on these candles. But tomorrow I do think I'm going to be home a lot of the day. The only thing I still want to do is go to Elwood, but we'll see if that actually ends up happening. Are these dry yet? Yeah, these are dry. Okay, I need to clean up my mess from when I was film or taking pictures for my brand deal. And just get myself situated, and then we'll make some dinner, which won't take long because mostly just going to be heating up leftovers i'm gonna um pop some broccoli in the oven just because i kind of always microwave it so i figured why not you know you that one's gross i love raw broccoli let's start by Drizzling some olive oil. And then I feel like a good way to always start is some salt and pepper. And then some salt. I use Celtic salt. Then, of course, some garlic powder, onion powder. Everything but the bagel. Do a little bit of cumin. And some crushed red pepper for fun. I'm actually gonna add some more oil, because I feel like the broccoli just, I don't know, absorbs it. Okay. Ignore that. We're just a bit low at the moment, but I just had some gummies. Okay. <gasps> Girl, just give it up. Does anyone watching this live in the UK? All right, gonna wait for the oven to cook. I mean, preheat. And then we will pop this in. And I think in the meantime, we can just prepare the rest of our bowl. The broccoli's in the oven. It's time for me to make my little sparkling water. I actually really love to drink this sparkling water out of the thing. It's just so good, but for you guys, I'll put it in my Christmas cup. Gotta make sure it's edible. Yep. 
definitely edible. Dinner is ready. So I just did leftover brown rice and ground turkey, some avocado, some roasted broccoli, some jalapenos, some um, shredded cheese, and then some tomatoes with salt because I've been craving those for some reason. And like I told you, behind every aesthetic dinner picture I take is the water bottle, the clear stem, and the hot sauce. <laughs> this is what Instagram sees. This is the reality. But I'm gonna eat so, so, so hungry. Guys, I'm feeling, <laughs> what am I doing? I just finished up dinner and cleaned up and everything and then I went and sat on the couch and I was like, dang, it's only six. Like, why do I feel like I'm like forgetting to do something? Or like, why do I feel like I haven't been like done with my day this early? I have to edit Vlogmas, duh. So I'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog here because it's editing time and then hopefully I can go to bed early. I went to bed early last night and I slept in a little bit, but um, regardless. Yeah, ooh wait, really quickly, I need to add to my to-do list for tomorrow to ship out the Benoa bikini because they got back to me and they won't send me a different color, but they are gonna replace the bikini that's, um, what do you call it, like defective. Um, so I'm adding that to my to-do list. Nothing crazy to do tomorrow, but I do have a few things now, which is good. It'll occupy my day. And then I think my friend Michaela might want to go on like a hike or something tomorrow. But we'll see. But I also, she just moved into a new apartment and I really want to see it. So hopefully I'll be able to do something with her tomorrow. But okay. I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching Vlogmas Day 7. We're officially on to our second week. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 8. Good night.